Dude, are you you looking at me? What's up, guys? We're back for a glorious day. It's like 10 degrees outside. It's heating up. It's heating up out here in the garage. We're getting there. But we got some jewelry. These things are supposed to be worth like 20 to 40 horse, depending on application, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea. But I do know my other motor on alcohol, it would like to push the dipstick out of the uh, dipstick tube. So we pulled the dipstick out, put a vacuum cap over it, we put a Panavac system on that motor. And that all helped with it pushing oil out of the valve covers. We put different valve covers on it, whatever. Anyhow, this motor, we're doing something different. We're putting a vacuum pump on this motor. Uh, so, this is not one of those high dollar Moroso pumps because, well, those are quite expensive for just a pump. You're looking anywhere from 700 to 900 bucks. This is a aerospace pump. I'm not partnered with aerospace. They did not give me a discount. Uh, they did not help me in any way, shape, or form with getting this kit. But it's a really nice kit. It comes packaged. I mean, you got the pump, you get the fittings, you get hose, you get a catch can, uh, you get the mandrel for the crank. I mean, you get you get everything. So uh, and they're reasonably priced for everything. Anyhow, yeah, that's what we're working on right at this moment. Um, we're gonna try getting this thing mounted up on here. Find a good way of fitting it. All that good stuff. We figured we'd take you guys along for the ride. You guys interested? You want to come along for the ride? Maybe it'll help you mount your vacuum pump on your motor and your dragster or your car. I will say if you had a car with a big motor plate on it, this would probably be a little bit easier. You could just mount it right straight to the plate. Um, any instructions for aerospace they say they want it mounted on a flat surface so far I've come up with mounting it on the cylinder head the only bad thing with mounting it on the cylinder head looks like we gotta do a little clearance job to the valve cover maybe unless I make a spacer to go back behind here which I think I might do. I think I might mount a spacer back behind it. Nice big flat spacer, quarter inch. It'll get it out in front of our motor plate here, um, which is a quarter inch thick. I think I'm gonna take these, uh, the guy that I bought the dragster from, he gave me a bunch of stuff with the dragster and one of them was this alternator bracket, the alternator and then these big long aluminum shims he had made. I think we're going to get rid of that and we're going to try probably mounting the alternator straight to the block uh, and see if one we got clearance and if two it works a little bit better because the alternator well the alternator needs this big pulley the aerospace the aerospace vacuum pump gets this little pulley okay now this mandrel comes apart you can hopefully see this maybe we'll, but aerospace cut for the vacuum pump it's got to get the little pulley because it's got a big pulley on the pump so to spin it sufficiently and effectively and to pull the vacuum numbers that they're saying it'll pull you got to have the little pump the little pulley for the pump so we're going to get rid of this one. It's a good thing I didn't Loctite those bolts in there. I just kind of put them in just to mock up the alternator. We're going to get rid of this mandrel, which also a guy gave me with the dragster. But we're going to get rid of this mandrel. We're going to put this one on there. We're going to set the alternator back. And then we're going to look at how to mount the vacuum pump. So. Hang tight with us. It's going to be a lot of fiddling, you know. We'll try to fast forward through some of the fiddling around stuff. Give you a little bit more of an end, end product. And uh, 
We'll see, we'll see where this journey takes us. All right, like I said, it's been a long, drawn-out process. If you look up on the Aeromotive website, the woman that drives the dragster that's sponsored by Aeromotive, they got it mounted up here on the cylinder head like this. So I went ahead and went with it. I know, it looks close down here by this water pump region, but it's not. We got a half inch of space or so in between the belt and the water pump there. We did have to make a custom little shim bracket to go in the back to space it off the block a little bit more due to the style of water pump I have. Not a big deal, but you can see it's on there. It's mounted on there. It's solid. We got the alternator on there. I did have to make some special shims for the alternator. And I want you guys come over here and take a look. You want to look? Are you sure? All right, come on. Oh, hello there. So yes, it's hard to see, but this is a plate that we made out of quarter inch aluminum. It runs the whole width of the cylinder head here. This is your tensioner or your slide for this thing. You don't, you don't need much out of it. You just need enough to make the belt tight, right? So we had we had these things here that came with the dragster. The guy had made them to space the alternator. And we cut them down to five eighths of an inch and put them back behind here to get our alternator spacing right to get our belt geometry correct. So, yeah, it, it took a little bit of doing, which, you know, when you put a race car together, nothing just bolts right together. You gotta make stuff, you gotta be able to fabricate a little bit. And it helps having good tools when it comes to building race cars. You can get by with bare necessities, um, depending on all what you're building and what you're doing. So this is that, that is done. I have the other valve cover, I had to weld a, a bung in it so I could put oil in it. It's being painted right now. And then I had to drill a hole in the front of it to come over to the vacuum pump here. We got we got some help here. Look at this guy. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, there he is, yep, see? He's, he's trying to help. He's having a hard time reaching it. So that part's that, and uh, I mean, I'll show you the, the lines and stuff like that. And I don't think I really need to make a tutorial video on how to make a N line. That should all be pretty straightforward. It's a pain in the ass to make it, when, especially when it's stainless braided, which is what we have. But anyhow. So here we go, we got a ending idea of how it's going to look. Like I said, we made a custom spacer. We plasma cut that piece of aluminum out, it's quarter inch thick aluminum, and we spaced that vacuum pump about a quarter inch off of the block. A little bit of running around and getting some bolts and doing some different things and tracking down a belt, and stuff like that. A uh, bunch of stuff that don't really need to record. As far as putting that vacuum pump on there, it was pretty straightforward. Uh, the biggest thing is getting the belt alignment correctly. 
that was the whole deal with the spacer getting it off of the cylinder head a little bit um, you can kind of see a little bit maybe not sure if you can see it in a video or not here you can see we don't we're kind of down near the yeah you can't see it but we're down near the let's see here maybe we can get it captured a little bit You can see down there, we're kind of at the end of the adjustment a little bit, but that's okay because the belt's real tight. It's not touching the water pump. There's there's some space there. I mean, you can hardly get your finger in there, but there's some space there. This chrome valve cover over here is just simply to keep dirt out of the motor. The other one... I had to weld some bungs in, drill some holes and stuff, so it's still being painted. It'll look just like this one, except it'll have a fitting that that threads into up there. But other than that, this is what you got. Don't be scared to get out there, build something, cut some metal, drill some holes. Uh, we use those fancy hole transfer punches up there to, to stake them holes on that aluminum so we knew where to drill the holes. So if you got uh, if you need to do some hole transfer and you got threaded holes, instead of measuring and guessing and then having to drill the holes oversized because you missed a little bit, you just simply take your whatever size thread bolt it is, lob it down, chalk it up in a drill, take your grinder and just put a point on it, and then you can lay your piece of metal on there, hit it with a hammer, and there's your hole transfers for you. Uh, but this is Patent Performance Racing. We're tuning out for, for tonight. Uh, tuning out probably for a couple days. Still waiting on the push rods. Uh, when those come in, we will go ahead and throw all the lifters in here, put the push rods on here, lash our valves, bolt the intake down for good with a gasket, and swing it in a car. Uh, I'm hoping to have it in the car here in the next day or two. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I was hoping the push rods would be here already, but they're not. Maybe they'll be here tomorrow. It'd be great if they are. If they're not, then oh well, we just got to wait a couple more days. But nevertheless, check in uh, next time here at Patent Performance Racing. We always got a cool little tip, trick, or something for you. Hopefully you've seen a little bit, uh, you know, learned a little bit of mounting one of those uh, uh, vacuum pumps. They got, there's different brand pumps out there. They're all going to be a little different the way they bolt up and stuff like that. Uh, you, you really just got to play around with it until you get it right. There's really not much to it. Whether you got to space it a little bit or stack washers behind it, whatever you got to do. Um, your local steel, uh, steel mill should be able to get you at whatever kind of metal you're after. Whether it's stainless, aluminum, carbon steel, mild steel, whatever it may be. Uh, you should be able to to track it down there we got a local steel manufacturer not far from the house here that i go to to get all the little uh steel uh pieces and plates and tubing and square tubing and c channel angle you name it they got it right uh you can even get lucky sometimes in home depot or uh, one of them hard hardmore stores or something will have some of the stuff you need uh, but that, that's about it for the night this is Pat Performance checking out. We'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned. Motor will be running as soon as the car is run wired. In two months. End of February. Not even two months. About a month and a half. End of February. It's going hot with race gas. And then it'll be on alcohol after that. But anyhow, catch you guys next time. Thanks for checking it out.